Welcome back to another video and in this video you are gonna see the review of Evolution X Android 11 from iPhone K20 Pro. However, if you have a different phone, I'll leave the link in the description where you can go and check out if that ROM is available for you or not. If you're new to this series, make sure you click here to watch the rest of it so that you can get the idea of how this series actually goes and without any further delay, let's directly start the video. So let's start by looking at the list of bloatwares which are present in this ROM. As you know, custom ROMs are made for users and not for companies to gain profit. And that's the reason why you would not find even one application in this ROM which you would not want to have. This ROM comes with inbuilt Play Store, so you don't have to flash any other G apps. You can get every single application right through this Play Store. And by default, the camera that comes with Evolution X as of now is Google Camera. It used to come at some point with ANX camera, but this removed it because it had bugs. But you can always install it later, which I did, and that's all. So no blotwares in this ROM whatsoever. Now let's have a look at animation smoothness. Now if you are following my channel for a while, you will know that Evolution X is one of my favorite ROMs when it comes to performance as well as smoothness of animation. So no matter how many applications you have open, no matter which phone you have, if it is capable enough, you will have no hard time switching between the applications and the smoothness between these applications and the opening and closing transition will all be quite smooth. No matter if you are switching from one application to another or no matter if you are opening or closing the application, the animation will not stutter and you will have an amazing experience scrolling through this 90Hz AMOLED panel. Now let's have a look at customization options. So Evolution X is known for the amount of customization it gives to the users. Every single customization which deals with the ROM is under Evolver settings. And there you can see the themes. So you can change everything related to the themes, which is very nice because you have tons of accent color here, all taken from different phones and different areas where you can, like it's just nice to have such customizations. G Visual Mod was recently added where you can change the status bar height as well as rounded corners. So if, if you are into it, you can easily do that. Then if you come here at status bar, you can change everything like from battery, clock, 4G style that they are shown, VO Wi-Fi icon being shown, roaming indicators if you want to have there, or if you don't want to have there, then notifications, you can change the pop-up styles. You can reduce the number of notifications that you get. Notification light, since it's K20 Pro, the light is over here which application should trigger that, which application should not trigger that, show all those events, so it's gonna show them as well. So you have that under notifications. Then quick settings, basically these are your quick setting tiles, so you can enable smart pull down. So I like this one because if you don't have any notification, you don't have to swipe twice, one swipe and it's gonna be there. Then vibrate on touch, how many rows do you want it to be here then data usage in qs header you can see how much data has been used then battery percentage next to the icon and all these things can be customized in qs panel and then here in quick settings we have already seen power options so aosp settings you will see that it shows all the device controls like like if you hold you will see these these are called device controls and this came in android 11 only so you have the emergency, if I tap and hold or pro probably press it, it's gonna dial the emergency number. Then you have the power off button, advanced where you can have the reboot. And this is to control the lamp, which is smart lamp. So if you have basically smart devices, all you have to do is hold the power button and it's gonna launch this menu where you can directly change whatever you want the smart lights to do. Like if you want to have it change the color you can directly do it from there without opening the application which is super good in my opinion and then if you go back you'll see screen recording options screenshots and all these options here in power menu now in terms of gestures you have aosp settings where you can have quickly open camera enabled by double tapping it swipe to screenshot is there and tons of options screen off power button torch so if your phone is off you want the torch you all you have to do is hold the power button it's going to activate hold it again it's going to turn it off so that's one of the most handy features that i use all the time then you have brightness control so if you slide on the status bar it's going to increase or decrease depending upon what you have set it to then double tap to wake up on those and all those settings in gestures then lock screen you have fingerprint error vibration fingerprint authentication vibration animations the type 
Now navigations, you will have custom navigations, gestures that you can set, two way, three button, or the best one which I have is the gesture based. Then you have hardware buttons where you can customize if you want to have these buttons customized to perform specific operation. Animations, here you can basically change the way that things appear on your screen. So whenever you are pressing something, this animation, you can flip it, rotate it, check this out. This used to be there in Pixel and I remember loving this part. Yeah, as of now, I don't really like it because it gives a white flash, but you can even click on scale. So it reduces scale and these things are available in animations. I'm going to keep it on default because this is the settle. All right. So that was for animations. Then in miscellaneous, you have the interesting modes. You have the gaming mode enabled where you, if I enable this heads up notification will be blocked completely. Then automatic brightness will also be turned off then ringer in gaming mode will be turned off then gaming indication is going to show and if you want to add a game which is not being shown automatically click on that it's going to be there so next time when you launch the game it's automatically enabled the gaming mode if you have turned it on yeah it's turned it on then you have other options like launch music application when you connect the headset directly without having to do that then charging animations and every other thing like usb configuration default whenever you connect it it goes to file transfer or maybe you want to restrict that so you can do that too and then the last setting here is about evolution x where you can see the developers who are working behind to give you this smooth experience evolution x now let's talk about the camera here so when you install the android 11 build of evolution x as of now you will get google cam which is not the most best camera that I've seen, I don't know, because you're not able to utilize a lot of features that MIUI camera has, which is why I went ahead and downloaded ANX camera and installed it on my K20 Pro. The link to which will also be there in the description. If you are in Android 11's build and you want to install it, it's possible and everything works here. So even the portrait mode, which used to crash earlier, works very nicely. Photos, back camera works, front camera works, and video works just as much you can record the video in 1080p 60 till 4k 60 fps and it works like magic then you have the pro mode that also works and in terms of photos you can have 2x zoom you can have ultra wide all these things work perfectly hdr ai everything works i'm gonna be attaching some camera samples for you to judge the quality because you might already know what kind of camera k20 pro has and this application ANX camera is quite optimized in taking photos and just makes me feel like home like the default stock camera application that MIUI usually gives it gives the same experience and I kind of like it now let's have a look at battery because this is the place where things start to get interesting so K20 Pro has a 4000 milliampere of battery and it will last for about one complete day this ROM gives you tons of features that's gonna help you utilize a lot of battery and would also give you extra time. So imagine you are a gamer and you want extra battery performance. So it's gonna cost you battery, but at the cost of your battery, your gaming performance will increase. So click on thermal profile in gaming and click on the game that you want to apply. And then you can select gaming and this tap here. You can see it increases the touch sampling rate to 180 Hertz, even though the screen, which is present on K20 Pro is 60 Hertz panel. You're going to see in a second how this gaming test is, but it, you can also increase the touch response so you can make it super responsive when you are playing the game. You can increase the touch sensitivity. I'm going to increase it to first and you can even change touch resistant area, which means it will block the specific area where you're touching if you don't want to have that. But let's say, for example, you don't really want to use BB daily for much of the things. So if I click on that and if I click on browser, and I click on this. So browser's profile will automatically get activated here. So all those things that a browser should have or all those places where it should cut out the battery usage, it's going to help it do it. And just like the same way, if I have Chrome and if I click on browser, my browsing experience will be optimized as per my basis of the battery. Now for the next feature I'm going to show you is the best feature available for a smartphone. I'm pretty sure you're going to love it. So this is called smart charging. Now imagine you keep your phone uncharged the, the entire night and it's full at 2 a.m. and still is charging till morning. That affects the battery a lot. That's why this feature comes in. At this moment, my phone's battery is 
it's connected and it's also charging i'm going to zoom in to show you what this thing will do so if you look closely it says stop the trigger level at 100 but if i reduce this now you see i've stopped the battery charging at 79 percent my battery is 92 it's still connected to the charger but it stopped charging i turned it off it started charging again i turned it on it stopped charging again so this is a very good and very handy feature if you want to have your phone connected to the battery charger overnight you can set the percentage to around 70 80 percent and set the bottom percentage which is the start percentage at around 23 so whenever your phone drops below 23 it automatically starts charging and whenever it reaches 82 it stops charging and this feature is mind-blowing it's going to increase the battery performance and this is why i like this rom so much so if you see last charge was around one minute ago because i just plugged my charger out but i charged the phone this morning and since then it's only 92 percent and i've used a lot of things i've even played some games there now let's have a look at the gaming test so if you remember i had turned on the gaming mode and if you see on the top it says gaming mode has been enabled and if you also remember that i had customized some options in the battery options so i had turned specifically the touch sampling rate as well as the touch sensitivity i have increased that and we are going to see in a second how this all things work out so to show you the graphics it's on very high max and mostly depth of field bloom real-time shadows water reflection and rag draw these options are enabled then vr mode graphic style is on dynamics now let's quickly see how this game performs on evolution x over k20 pro so let's see so far so good no lags So far so good, I don't see any lags or any other frame drops in this game so far. And you guys are also watching side by side with me, so you can zoom in and you can probably see the gaming quality. Do you see any lag here or there or anywhere else or even frame drops? Let me know in the comment section below. So as you already saw, the gaming performance was quite extreme. I didn't feel as if I was playing on the game to be honest. I was feeling like I was playing on my gaming laptop and didn't face any gaming issues heating issues nope and there was no frame drops and you saw it yourself let me know in the comments what you think of the gaming performance of this evolution x especially when you customize it the battery performance gaming performance and everything else to match the gaming expectations that you would have for this one first things first if you enjoyed watching this content press that like button make me happy Click on subscribe to join the family because in the upcoming week I'm gonna be uploading more about different roams that are going to come based on Android 11. So that's the specific thing that it's gonna highlight now, Android 11. And if you have any questions, any queries, ask me in the comment section below. Or if you want a faster response, my Instagram will be here. Go follow me there because I regularly keep posting contents there too. Also keep an eye on community tab and I'll be catching you guys in the next video next week. Until then, take care.